Hello, this is a video showing you how to change out the documents um, on the um, various pages here on the OIS part of the website. Um, so you can see for this example, we're going to be looking at the Community Supports Instructor Portal under Instructor Documents. So there's a couple things here that maybe you would need to change out at some point. So um, when you first get logged into the system, of course, you're always going to just be starting out on the dashboard of the site. Um, the first step that you're going to want to do is go to your media library and upload the new document that you want to link to. So I am going to go ahead and add a new document. I'm going to go to Select Files. And here, um, this isn't what you're going to want to use. We'll delete it afterwards, but we're going to pick this PDF right here. I'm going to click Open on that. You can see a taskbar right here for it loading. It's uploaded. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And then right here with the where the URL is, I'm just going to highlight this, copy it, close that. Now that I have the link that I want to link that document to, I'm going to come right down here to Pages. You guys have quite a few pages on your site, so it's going to be handy to use this little search function right up here. I'm going to go ahead and type in Community. And hit Search Pages. It'll still give us quite a number of options. I believe this is the page we need, Community Supports Instructor Login. So we're going to click on that. We're going to come right down here to the, I think we're on the documents, right? So we're going to come right here to this instructor documents tab. We're going to click on that. Here, see here when we roll over this, we get this little green block. So we come right here to this edit portion, little pencil. We click on that. Here we have our three links, so whichever one of these you want to replace with the new item, we're just going to click on it. You can see it shows us what it's linking to right now, and we can just, again, click on this little pencil right here. And we would just paste the new link right in here. Now I'm hesitant to do that because I don't want to lose the one that's supposed to be on here, so I'm not going to do it. But it's just that simple. Just paste it right in there. You would hit this Apply button right here. Then you'd hit Save Changes. And you'd hit update here to update it. And then once we refresh this, this would still read with the same label. If you needed to change the label to, since you're probably going to change it to manual march or, you know, whatever it might be instead. Um, again, we can come right here. We can go to the link options. And then here where it says link text is where we can change what what this actually reads as and then you can change both of them right here so you could put in the new link here the new text for it here and you'd hit update so if all you needed to change was this to may or something or whatever it might be you'd change that you'd update the link right here you'd hit update and then you'd be good to go then you'd hit save changes and then you'd hit update and you'd be set i think that's it for that